quiet and pleasant bath, hoping to enjoy it to the best of your ability, when all of a sudden, a tune slips into your mind seemingly out of nowhere and disrupts your well-earned peace. It turns your pleasant and quiet bath into a loud live concert that constantly repeats a part of one single song. Now, I'm not bad-mouthing live concerts, but sometimes we all need a quiet bath to relax, right? So, what is this thing that keeps disrupting our peace of mind when we need it? The answer is earworms, a short snippet of music that comes unbidden into the mind and repeats itself uh, without the will of conscious control, according to Europe's Journal of Psychology. They can come at any second, but typically come when we're not paying much attention to what we're doing, like when we're waiting in a traffic light or in a grocery store line. So why are earworms there? The truth is, scientists don't know. However, certain songs are catchier than others, and so more likely to auto-repeat in your mind. When music psychologist Kelly and her colleagues studied why, they found that these songs were faster and simpler to, in melodic contour, which meant that the pitch rose and fell in ways that made them easier to sing. The music also had some unique intervals between notes that made the song easier to stand out. According to the Harvard Health Publishing, in order to get stuck in your head, earworms rely on brain networks that are involved in perception, emotion, memory, and spontaneous thought. They're usually triggered when you actually hear a song, though they may also creep on you when you're feeling good or when you're in a dreaming or nostalgic state. And they also may show up when you're stressed out about having too much to think about. It's as if your stressed out brain latches on a repetitive idea and sticks with it. Also, if you have a musical background, you may be more susceptible to earworms. So how should you help yourself get rid of earworms when it is necessary to keep a peaceful state of mind? First, distract yourself with another less catchy song, or even a song that is distracting you, except with the entire song, as earworms are typically only a part of a song. You can also chew on something, like gum, so it disrupts your hearing. However, sometimes we need a bit of distraction. But when you need your peace of mind, at least you know what to do, right? Alright, that will be all for today. Bye! Thank you.